And a very good Sunday morning to you, my Facebook friends. I am on my way to church, and it is a glorious summer day here. And yes, it's summer. I get tired of hearing people say, well, you know, summer's gone, and blah, blah. It, we have another like week and a half news alert another week and a half of summer and I don't know about you but I'm enjoying the weather here in Calgary so it is still summertime I have been blessed by the Word of God hallelujah I am just taking a look here I was gonna share this in the elevator on my way to down to the main floor and my neighbor gets off all right, gets off. She steps into the hall at the exact same time as I am. We're locking our condo doors and heading to the elevator. I ask her to help hold the elevator door open for me because I was a little bit behind her. Anyways, she notices my Bible in my hand and she says, Oh, are you a Christian? And I says, Yes, I'm a Christian. And she's starts sharing about her experiences growing up in Colombia and her religious mom and this and that. And anyways, it all comes out that she believes in Jesus Christ, but she just doesn't go to church and just she's just kind of tired of religion and so I shared with her my quick synopsis version of the difference between religion and a true relationship with Jesus Christ and so it was neat she actually uh, she enjoyed what I had to share with lots of religious experiences of making God happy she thought it was interesting what I had to share in terms of the opportunity that we have to have relationship a rule-free relationship as it talks about in uh, in Romans the book of Romans it says sin shall not have dominion over you for you are not under the law but under grace so we are not legalists as Christians we are not law driven and Ten Commandment get the Ten Commandments back in the schools and all that kind of stuff driven we want a healthy society yes we want a society governed by the principles of the Word of God yes but we're not religious people. We're not rule and relig rule and uh, rule based uh, people. Anyways, so who knows? Maybe she'll come and join me in church sometime. But I'm reading from what I was sharing with you on Friday on the hundredfold faith and the revelation the Lord gave to me on hundredfold faith. And I believe and now have turn this into a confession of my own and I wanted to share this with you because I think when we get something from the Word of God that can be applied to our lives and I mean, all, all of the Word can be applied to our lives but there's some things that just kind of stand out and resonate and so from Genesis 26 verse 12 and 13 which I was principally sharing on what produced that faith in um, Isaac to sow in the midst of a famine and to receive a hundredfold return in the same year. And so if you haven't caught it yet, I was so blessed. I mean, I'm not sharing it from the perspective that I came up with some great idea, but if it's great, it's a revelation from the Lord himself. And so I got a great revelation from the Lord himself and I believe it's just a powerful, powerful revelation. So I do encourage you to, oh my goodness. Ferrari one day anyways so great revelation on wealth encourage you to listen to it it was a Friday uh, session that I did a live Facebook session or Facebook live session whatever you want to call it on uh, Facebook on Friday if you didn't catch it ah, my friend watch it it's a little lengthy yes it was over an hour an hour and 15 minutes but it will rock your world oh hallelujah join me on this journey so anyways okay let me share with you a new confession if you don't have the time to watch just just confess with me here it is Genesis 26 verses hallelujah Jesus just thought about why we want to revolt the Word of God in paper form yes because when it's on our phone and we're driving then you get pulled over for texting well, I guess the law is distracted driving. Anyways, I'm at a red light, so here we are. Then Robert sowed in that land. Okay, just hold, hold that thought here for a second because I'm coming up to another red. Then Robert sowed in that land. And Robert... Uh, 
Okay, I'm not under the law, I'm under grace. <laughs> then Robert sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed Robert. Woohoo! Hallelujah. And the man Robert became began to prosper. And Robert continued to prosper. Oh, and Robert continued prospering, rather, until Robert became very prosperous. 